Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and welcome to the start of a brand new weekly series on my channel to hype up Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Oh, that was too much to say in one breath. Oh. Many people in the Pokemon community, including myself, believe that Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are going to introduce new Alola forms, which is obviously an exciting prospect. I love the concept of Alola forms, and as evidenced by my last two videos about possible Alola forms, I really enjoy coming up with them. My very good friend Pokemon, who has an excellent Pokemon YouTube channel you should check out if you have not already, suggested that I start a weekly series on my channel where I look at one Pokemon that might get an Alola form in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and talk about my ideas on it such as design, its inspiration, its stats, and more. I came up with the design and inspiration ideas for these new Alola forms, but since I can't really draw, I commissioned Really Dark and Windy to draw the art for me, whose deviant art and channel I have linked down in the description below. He's an excellent artist, you should definitely check him out. So be sure to leave a like on the video to show you're excited for this new series, comment below some ideas for Alola forms that you have, and if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's dive into the first first possible new Alola form, Alolan Typhlosion. Recently, we got some supposed leaks for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and in those leaks, they claimed that the Johto starters would be getting new Alola forms. Now, I am 99% certain that these leaks are totally fake, but even if they were real, They'd be exciting because I really want to see Alola forms of the Johto starters. All of the Johto starters are single typed, pure grass, pure fire, pure water. So because of that, I think they'll get similar treatment to Raichu, Rattata, Raticate, Diglett, Dugtrio, Grimer, and Muck, where they have one single typing and gain a different secondary typing. We'll start off with Typhlosion, since Typhlosion is my favorite Johto starter, and for a possible Alolan Typhlosion, I would like to see it gain the Steel type. Making Typhlosion a Fire Steel type would add some type diversity to the Pokemon world, since the only other Fire Steel type in existence is Heatran, so Alolan Typhlosion would be the first Fire Steel type that isn't a Legendary. Alolan Typhlosion's design would change quite a bit from regular Typhlosion, with its color scheme changing from blue and yellow to red and gray, metal spikes growing out of its back, and its back fire being replaced by molten metal. I picture this change in Typhlosion's body coming about due to it spending more time in volcanic areas. Even though the Cyndaquil line is fire type, it is never found in any volcanic areas anywhere in the Pokemon world. Now, to be fair, it is a starter Pokemon, and those are very rarely found in the wild at all, but even so, Cyndaquil's native region of Johto doesn't even have a volcanic area. Since the Cyndaquil line are fire types, they would likely gravitate towards Whale Volcano Park, and by spending time there, they'll be spending a lot more time around open flowing lava than they would anywhere else. By the time Cyndaquil is fully evolved, its biology has grown much more accustomed to molten metal and rock rather than actual flames themselves, and therefore that causes the magma and lava to merge with its biology. Alolan Typhlosion, now that it is fully evolved and the lava has fused with its biology, can more easily navigate the lava paths within Wayla Volcano Park. In addition to that, some of the molten metal that it expels has cooled and hardened into protective metal spikes on its back, which is nice for extra protection against any predators. In regards to Alolan Typhlosion's base stats, I think it makes sense for it to get a substantial buff in physical defense, since having metal spikes all over your body is gonna deter a lot of physical attacks from working as well. In addition to that, I think its physical attack for the same reason should get a substantial buff, since those big spikes are gonna be pretty effective for attacking opponents head on. I think the stats it makes sense to lower in order to keep its base stat total the same would be speed and special attack. Speed, since if it's covered in metal spikes and openly flowing lava, it's probably not going to be able to move as quickly. And for special attack, the iron spikes really do make it more suited for physical attacking. Honestly, I think it makes sense for the attack and special attack stats to switch completely. And finally, for its ability, I think Alolan Typhlosion should get either magma armor or iron barbs for relatively obvious reasons. Iron Barbs is the better ability, so that's what I tend to lean toward more, but Magma Armor also makes perfect sense. So there we have it. Those are my ideas for Alolan Typhlosion. 
Be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you think of my ideas, and if you have different ideas for Alolan Typhlosion, I'd love to see those too. Don't forget to leave a like on the video to show that you're excited for this series, and of course, if you're not already subscribed, you definitely should, because you're gonna get to see more of this series and lots of other fun Pokemon content as well. And since I've already gotten really dark and windy to make most of the art for this series, I think it'd be fun at the end of each of these episodes to show you a preview for what the next one's gonna be. So here's a little who's that new Alola form silhouette thing you can look at. So get excited for next week. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all.